Good evening Philippines, this is Mike Padua and we are back to our analysis for this Wednesday to Friday, December 8 to 10, 2021 and this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Let's begin with our update, here is the uh, latest graph set beginning today, Wednesday until uh, tomorrow, Thursday. The northeast monsoon continues to prevail across Luzon and portions of the Visayas, including Mimaropa and the Sulu Archipelago, so expect some breezy conditions, slightly cooler temperatures, and uh, some passing drizzles to light rains, particularly along the uh, eastern seabirds of Luzon, uh, Batanes, Baboon, Kobab Islands, as well as over the Bicol region, and some portions of western and northern Visayas. While uh, over here across the uh, uh, eastern Visayas area and portions of southern Bicol, we have a uh, shear line. This is uh, known as a tail end of a frontal system, bringing some thunderstorms and heavy rainfall, particularly along Samar provinces and uh, portions of Leyte. So uh, please take all necessary precautions against flash floods and landslides brought about by this shear line. And uh, the coastal areas of Luzon, including the Visayas, will be uh, uh, rough and dangerous to small sea crafts. So uh, please take all necessary precautions as well. And uh, the uh, northeast monsoon will continue to prevail for the next uh, three days. And we have here a surface trough to the southern portions of Mindanao, the uh, uh, offshore Bangsamoro areas. This is a uh, area of uh, lower atmospheric pressure with some possible thunderstorms developing, particularly in the afternoon or evening. And we have here now a tropical uh, disturbance, so LPA 95W moving farther away. Uh, a few uh, two days ago, the LPA is somewhere here, but in the in the past uh, couple of days, this LPA has moved towards the east southeast. And we are keeping an eye on this LPA because this is a candidate of a tropical cyclone formation, possibly this weekend or early next week. Uh, this system will remain quasi-stationary for the next few days here. And then uh, eventually, after the uh, westerly wind, okay, or the uh, westerly, westerly steering flow near the equator uh, subsides, the uh, strong easterlies will again... Uh, uh, take the role of uh, moving the system back to the west. So it is likely that this LPA will uh, re reorganize here and it will track towards the west in the general direction back to the Philippine Islands. So the areas of the Mindanao and Visayas must uh, continue to monitor the progress of this uh, low pressure area 95W or if it does, if this LPA uh, dissipates, there is a probability that another circulation will form. We have here an approaching uh, tropical wave or surface trough which is moving towards the west. So likely this new cloudiness will merge with 95W and this will be the next uh, tropical cycle information based on the two reliable computer models. But there's some slight good news when it comes to the intensity of this potential storm based on the uh, output from these computer models. Uh, and uh, so far, that's the latest from our graph set. The rest of the Philippine Islands will remain sunny to partly cloudy with isolated rain showers, particularly out in the western sections of the zone, somewhat dry, okay? And if we take a look at the uh, fast animation, there you go. These are the cloudiness thunderstorms, uh, which could generate heavy rainfall across eastern Visayas because of the uh, shear line, okay? And the LPA is somewhere here. And if you take a look at the zoom in satellite animation for the past six hours, beginning at 11 uh, p.m. to 6 p.m. this evening, you can uh, observe here that the cloudiness continues to build and bring rainfall across eastern Visayas, particularly summer and later provinces because of the shear line. Now, here's the rainfall accumulation for the next uh, three days until Friday. Expect some uh, rainfall across uh, eastern Visayas, but particularly uh, summer and later provinces. And some of the uh, thunderstorms may also affect Cebu, uh, Negros, and Panay Islands. 
and also across the uh, coastal uh, eastern seaboards of the uh, Bicol region, Caranduanes, Partido District of Camarines Sur, Camarines Norte, uh, Eastern Albay, and Sosogon because of the uh, uh, possible uh, effects of the northeast monsoon and the combined effects also with uh, the uh, shear line here. So uh, here in Naga, there could be also some uh, rain showers expected for the next three days until Friday, but nothing uh, intense, okay, compared to the rainfall that are being felt over eastern Visayas. So that's the uh, three-day forecast when it comes to rainfall uh, accumulation. If you take a look now at the latest ray, uh, wind and pressure forecast from the two reliable computer models, the ECMWF and the GFS. So far, if we take a look at the uh, um, European model, okay, and the American model, it's all the same until uh, Friday. We'll be experiencing the effects of the northeast monsoon across Luzon down to some portions of the Visayas with some rainfall expected here across uh, uh, eastern Visayas. And if we take a look on Saturday and Sunday, okay, uh, you can observe here that the LPA is still here south of Guam, quasi-stationary. And we are going to take a look uh, using the two reliable computer models, the European and the American model. So on Sunday uh, afternoon, that will be uh, four days from now, the LPA is still here. If we check on the American model, there you go. Still a low pressure area. On Monday, based on the European model, the uh, low pressure area will resume or return back to its, uh, to its uh, usual westerly track from the former uh, easterly uh, track so if we uh, draw a line if uh, the system will again move on that direction that's on monday december 13 and if we look at the american model it's already a tropical storm so the american model shows a rapid intensification syst intensifying system while the uh, uh, european model shows only a is slow development of this LPA. So let's go back to the European model. So there, there, there you go, the LPA. On Tuesday afternoon, the LPA is now active, becoming a tropical depression as it nears the uh, area of uh, Palau, while the American model shows it as a severe tropical storm or a typhoon moving in between or passing in between Yap and uh, Palau. Uh, let's go back again using the uh, European model. On Wednesday afternoon, the uh, potential storm is now within the Philippine area responsibility, entering power Wednesday morning, and it's likely to become a tropical storm over the uh, South Philippine Sea, while the American model is uh, already a typhoon, a well-developed uh, typhoon, slightly smaller uh, so uh, it's uh, beginning to bring a threat across uh, Visayas and uh, Mindanao based on the American model, but the European model is only a tropical depression or tropical storm. So the intensity of the uh, European model is much, much uh, uh, lower. So uh, let's hope and pray it will continue to weaken or dissipate. And on Thursday uh, morning, or early morning, Thursday, it will be approaching the coastal areas of uh, northern Caraga or Surigao provinces. So as a uh, possible minimal tropical storm or a uh, uh, strong tropical depression. And the northeast monsoon will still continue across the Bicol region and portions of uh, northern Visayas, eastern Luzon. Now the American model shows a very powerful storm, probably at uh, 185 kph or 200 kph approaching uh, northern uh, uh, Karaga. So they are both the same. Let's go back to the European model. In the afternoon of Thursday, no, uh, in the morning, lay, uh, let's say uh, noontime, it will start to uh, cross Surigao provinces and it will be in the vicinity of uh, Bohol Sea as a tropical depression or a minimal tropical storm 
while the American model shows it as a powerful system approaching Siargao and Dinagat Island. So uh, the European model is slightly faster when it comes to the forecast. And uh, on uh, Friday morning, the system will now over the uh, will now be over the Sulu Archipelago approaching Palawan as a uh, intensifying tropical storm and traversing Palawan in the morning of Friday, December 17. And on Friday evening, it will be over the West Philippine Sea approaching the Kalayan Island group. Now, if we uh, take a look on the American model, it's a powerful typhoon traversing Visayas, passing over uh, Leyte, Cebu, on Friday, December 17, Northern Negros, and the Panay Island passing very close over Iloilo. And on Friday evening, it will be over the Calamian group of islands. And late Friday evening, around 11 p.m., it will be over the West Philippine Sea, west of Coron Palawan. So this uh, intensification of the American model is somewhat uh, higher compared to the uh, European model which only shows as, as a minimal, minimal tropical uh, storm. So, as of this time, we can say that the uh, forecast of the system making landfall over uh, northern Caraga or uh, southern Leyte is currently at low probability, or 30%, because it's still um, 8 days to go, okay? So, 7 to 8 days to go, that's still beyond the usual 5 or 3 day forecast of the uh, weather agencies monitoring tropical cyclones and as of this time it's not yet uh, developed okay so we we will wait and see what will happen on this uh, forecasted uh, tropical cyclone so right now if we uh, stick up to uh, uh, monday which is within the 5 day forecast it is it's still a uh, uh, tropical, uh, uh, likely a tropical uh, storm or a uh, low pressure area. So the uncertainty is still at 30 to 50 percent, especially on the eighth day. So it's still highly uncertain if it will make landfall over Mindanao or Visayas. Let's hope and pray it will still change as uh, the week uh, progresses, part particularly this coming weekend. We will be. Uh, showing to you the real picture of the system as the probability increases particularly if we are now within the five to three day forecast so that's the real or the uh close to i mean it's it's the, the three to five day forecast will become uh, close to reality already because the uh, probability of these computer models particularly if both of them shows this uh tropical cyclone developing Within the five, within the five or three day window of forecast, most likely the probability will increase to more than fifty percent. So as of this time, it's still low probability, high uncertainty. So we still don't know. But the good news on the European model side, because uh, this morning and yesterday, the European model shows it also as a typhoon, but. Right now, it's only uh, as a tropical depression or a minimal tropical storm. Unlike the uh, American model, it's always uh, aggressive, okay, when they forecast these uh, tropical systems, which shows a typhoon intensity. But because of the impending La Nina, high uh, vertical wind shear, and slightly cooler uh, atmospheric temperature because of the northeast monsoon, it looks like the, the forecast of the European, European model might come true based on the historical accounts of past forecast of the European model. So we will wait and see until uh, Friday and uh, maybe on Monday. On Monday, if it does be, becomes a tropical cyclone, we'll be issuing daily YouTube updates and also Facebook uh, video analysis. So watch out for that. Uh, as of this time, let's pray, okay, let's hope and pray that this system will weaken, but again, even if it weakens into a tropical uh, depression or if it does become only uh, as a tropical uh, disturbance or low pressure area, it will dump heavy rainfall across besides Mindanao and Mimaropa and also portions of the Bicol regions because of the enhanced 
northeast monsoon be uh, mainly because of the existing existing uh, uh, la nina phenomenon and if we take a look at the global tropics hazards and benefits outlook from the climate prediction center so this forecast shows on week one valley december 8 to december 14 a tropical cyclone formation at high probability or high confidence so it looks like this may uh, push through so we will uh, wait to the weekend and if ever it develops we will issue updates here at uh, our mr typhoon the tv uh, youtube channel as well as at our facebook mr typhoon dot uh, com and also at our website uh, www.typhoon2000.ph and www.typhoon2000.info for the latest advisory uh, which we issue when there is an approaching uh, tropical cyclone of the Philippine uh, area of responsibility. So these are on the complements with Pagasa. We still uh, are going to focus with the advisory from Pagasa since they are the, our official agency. But uh, we complement these uh, advisories so that people will be prepared when there is an approaching system. On week 2, December 15 to December 21, there might be above average rainfall continues to prevail across the Bicol region, southern Luzon, central Luzon, Visayas, and uh, northern Palawan. So that will be the forecast for week 2. So this will be the, uh, the only uh, tropical cyclone formation alert for uh, between December 8 to December 14, so watch out for that. We Let's hope and pray that it will still change weekend and uh, not intensify, okay? So we'll keep you updated. On Friday, we will be having some new updates on this uh, tropical, uh, potential tropical cyclone, which is still, uh, as, of, as of this time, it's still a weak low pressure area, 95W, over to the southeast of Palau near the equator and we will return again on friday to give you the very latest on this potential tropical cyclone from typhoon 2000 this is mike pardo reporting stay safe always be hashtag weatherwiser and thank you so much for watching our channel